I'll start with feedback on this one. And this is a chance for you to give us feedback. <coughs> and on the national level, you've seen now on the SPN. You've seen that rocker part of versus network rivalry uh, that was on. Has been too much as far as losing. No, I think that certainly uh, much as you said, uh, and I think that the thing that concerns me uh, as I look at the attention that is given to uh, is two players. One would be Kirby, and the other would be the seven and seven in terms of these all star teams that are you know, traveling road across the country. Uh, because, you know, I have a put that sport where you can't put your helmet on. We have one all star game in the state. You can't travel around and play these things. And I'm not saying the exposure is bad. What I'm saying is I feel like football has everybody that's like for their hustle football. And it comes down to if you're good enough, they're going to find you. Um, Ralph and Noel both have had players that have been good enough to play at the next level and, and have all in. in Robert went on to the net, and we're going to find no matter what term they play. So I those are the things that, that when we have the attention that's pretty live and people announce I, I, I want to because at the end of the day, it's still about a free education, and they're going to find you. The best players are going to be recruited, and uh, we're going to have recruitable athletes. Um, a little football player named Mike Dukes. To me, arguably one of the best school players I've ever seen play in my era. He can play from a free safety position. He got a nice curve. He's going to go to the top of him. And uh, the NFL, Mike Dukes, and I think he played for what? Wow. That's the way I think he's going to be one of the best. I guess my major concern But at the same time, uh, I'm concerned about our programs and our players being exploited for personal gain. Uh, and I believe that that uh, is, is uh, either happening now or is very close to happening. Uh, you know, when, when you start losing uh, important you know, and, and, and kids are away from uh, your program and your team kind of because of the attention that's being um, uh, put on, them, if you will, by a number of people. In the media, and I won't make a different, that, whatever, okay? Uh, <laughs> um, I, I just struggle with that. Um, you know, I think you get my kids to be high school football. College people sort of stuff and you know, and, and Peter has a great point about that. Um, there's, you know, there's many young men that can play at many different levels, okay, and I, I find it uh, rude if you go know, where you know, these guys get uh, you know, these high players, and then all of a sudden you don't hear from them anymore, you know, and, and they may end up in Division two, Division three, and that's fine. That's great. You know, just the exploitation thing bothers me. The seven out of seven thing, uh, I, I get some real questions about that. About the coaching, uh, you know, about the cost, about who's putting money in their pocket. Uh, you know, things like that, away from uh, the programs, you know, the, 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 the event that the program has. Hey, coach, you know, I'd like to be there, but, uh, you know, I can do this or whatever. Um, as many of us said, uh, there's a conversation, and it's turning into AAU basketball. And uh, the bad part of AAU basketball, and uh, I hope 
goodness it does. And, uh, we'll, we'll see. But uh, not a big fan of, you know, uh, the, the, the bad side of the media, if you will. Okay? Uh, we appreciate the positive and <laughs> with the programs in West Michigan, certainly. And I try to always share that with you guys. You know, but I appreciate that. Okay? Our parents appreciate that. They're Like the visibility, you know, I, it, it can be nice. The first system it was uh, well done. Um, and I don't say that we're first enough okay to come up on that. Um, I, I think it gave a few communities. Okay, uh, I've got a couple of thoughts about that as well. But Back like on seven, it'd be interesting. Uh, about those kids can be, you know, coaches playing up, or rosters end up in the fall, which is something that I would be intrigued in following because it's actually the kids, and you know, those guys begin negotiating, you know, some things uh, for different schools. Community, even having children is I think that makes all of our programs. Uh, as far as me, a huge concern that I would have. I just uh, the individual stats. I just truly, truly do. And I think the parents want to send a paper, but those is to me that that's uh, because I just think. There's no way to compare people running back to my running back as far as league rushing stats relative to the different games we played or the different style of play that we have, whatever. Then the situation in some regard. I'm just not sure uh, anybody that knows anything about football knows uh, all those numbers that they really don't matter. There's only one number that does matter, you know. Stats until the end of the year, you know, look that they get at the end of the year. And, uh, but you know, you have these other companies that are trying to have revenue up and those, uh, having, you know, kind of coaches' hands, so to speak. Is our highest most of the positive the other teams have done. I just think, you know, those things, until the 16, 17 year old kid have to go into the community, really rallies around football. It's well documented that boy has to deal with that for a while. And I, I'm struggling with that a little bit. Uh, 
but uh, I think in general there would be a lot more negative things, you know, relative to the question of high school sports or football. Uh, I'm just glad I can definitely are involved with it's a in general, and uh, as opposed to, you know, maybe it's helping be more involved. I mean, I, I, so it's, it's fun to watch, you know, Jack Dole's and B13, Down to the 